What's happening, everybody? Trey here, joined by my dad, Sean. And today, reactions to the classics. We have a song battle coming your way. Uh, as you can see at the bottom, we're going to be checking out the track Pop Live by Prince and the Revolution. Always great when we get to uh, feature Prince over here on the channel. Definitely. And that's going to go against June Tagawa and uh, their track Suki Suki uh, Dai Suki. Hopefully I didn't I butcher that right. too bad. And uh, shout out to our longtime friend and uh, patron of the channel, T Super, for bringing this. Dad, he's naming this the anti-idol slash anti-pop battle. Yeah, he says April continues the megastar versus lesser known artist, at least in the USA thing. We got two other battles that are they're kind of like this. The songs in the battle may seem unconnected, and in language and other ways they are, but I chose this battle because of less obvious connections. One, a simple one. Both songs are from 1985 when T Soup turned 18. Hey, let's go. <laughs> both artists are known for their singular, unique style while also being great live performers. And most importantly, both songs are commentary on. Pop Life, which segues us into <laughs> Pop Life by Prince and the Revolution from Around the World in a Day mm -hmm. in 1985. The follow-up to the epic Purple Rain. T-Soup says, the first song is Pop Life by Prince and the Revolution. The song takes a swipe at pop stardom within mm -hmm. the structure of a great pop song from an underrated Prince LP. On a more sentimental note, Prince passed away on April 21st, 2015. And I still remember and can still picture myself vividly when my wife texted me, did you hear about Prince? This one hit me more than any artist passing away to date. Maybe it's the Minnesotan or the music fan in me, or both. So in tribute, the great and unmatched Prince, what a pop life. Man, great write-up by there it by was. T. Super. Um, and a little more about the song. It was uh, the second U.S. and final U.K. single from the record. Went to seven here in the States, becoming his eighth top ten hit in a two-year span. 60 in the U.K. It was re recorded before Purple Rain was even completed, um, indicating the new direction that Prince wanted to take after the success of that album and film. Lyrically, the song describes the tiresome and stressful side of the celebrity life, including the pressure that can lead to drug use. Uh, it also includes a portion that features the sound of a bell ringing for a boxing match, followed by the sound of a restless crowd with someone yelling, throw the bum out. <laughs> this was rumored to be taken from an actual concert in 81 when Prince opened for the Rolling Stones in L.A. Relatively unknown at the time, the crowd booed him off stage. He returned for the second show, getting a better reception, but with still some booing. Prince quit the tour shortly after. In reality, the bits are from a sound effects mm. library. The reason for the sample's inclusion is unknown, even to Prince himself. When asked about it on his online forum, Prince responded, good question, me too, wondering why it was on there. We're going to have the lyrics up as always. Thanks again, t suit It was weird in there. It, it didn't seem like it fit. And it's weird that Prince, who was in control of everything, didn't know it was in there. I'll tell you about this. I know this song a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't have remembered it, but... You know, I was a huge Prince guy, right? And Purple Rain was the culmination of that. It was so fantastic. But I liked him even before that. And so when this album came out, I was a wee little 14-year-old, maybe 13-year-old in the summer of 1985. And I was like, what is this? Mm -hmm. yeah, I, just didn't, I just didn't right? appreciate it. Like, I, I wanted more Purple Rain, right? And <laughs> Prince was already 10 steps ahead. So now when I listen back to it, a little older than 13 or 14. Uh, I really enjoy it. No, man, I think the production on this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. The lyrical content, too, especially that uh, that fourth verse, I yeah, thought dude. was incredible. Uh, what you're putting in your nose, is that where all your money goes? Um, the river of addiction flows. You think it's hot, but there won't be no water when the fire blows. I like that yeah, it's play awesome, on, on blow like cocaine, but also the, the hot and the fire and then the water in there. Um, you know, everything coming together really well um, in, in that verse right there and uh that chorus dad very uh you know very uh catchy very pop definitely like but uh the, the way that prince delivers those you know and you got the backing vocals in um you know the start of this song really uh really lays a nice uh you know funk beat down as well um which you know kind of um you know harkens to what he would do on uh, the yeah. sign of the times you know in a couple years after that um so uh, all in all man a uh a, a fantastic song you know I've, I've heard it before but there's one thing when you're just listening and there's another one that that's all you're focusing your yeah, attention 100%, on. Yeah, 100%, man. Um, so I, uh, I, I thought that was a great... Uh Great uh, tune to kick off uh, kick off this battle right now. And we're going to shift gears totally here. We're going to stay, as we noted, in 1985. But uh, Jun Tugawa's uh, Suki Suki Daisuki uh, from the album of the same name right here. Yeah, and T-Soup says, The second song comes from my latest favorite artist, Jun Tawaga, out of Japan. Hugely influential in Japan and still active. She's not well known in the U.S. for an obvious reason. She sings Japanese <laughs> mostly. That said, her biggest song, the title track, this song, of course, features an incredibly catchy chorus that follows a really unexpected change of vocal pre-chorus. 
She's a Japanese singer, musician, and actor. She's one of the greatest influences on Japanese avant-garde music and media. Her career spans over 35 years. She has mainly acted from 81 to 95, but still making music as of now. Change the soup is talking about. Title means I like you, I like you, I love you. Yes. Right, Suki Suki Dai Suki, which uh, we were uh, actually watching the video to it uh, with the English captions, which uh, definitely helped. We didn't have the video up, just it did, you know, due to copyright, right. but uh, that that helped for sure and it got us to see uh, see June and just uh, th this video would have taken a while to film that she was in yeah. I don't know like ten different costumes. Yeah, yeah, uh, it was crazy man. <laughs> throughout the video. But to answer, I like you, I like you, I love you, which uh, kind of. Um, bleeds into the, the, the track, right? Because there's a points here, Dad, where she's all like saying, oh, I want you to like kiss me till my lips bleed. bleed. Yeah. Or was what say. was the other one? Like hug me till my ribs, ribs break. break. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, she was saying like, I love you and like, you better love me too or I'm going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was very interesting lyrics, but it, you know, all wrapped up in this nice little <laughs> catchy song so i can see why t soup likes it so much yeah and that change of vocal i thought was uh, quite impressive yeah. too where she actually sings a, a little bit in uh, in english there for a moment um you know definitely a, a song that uh, was very well produced i thought and um you could just tell the uh, the energy and passion that june was uh, bringing forth for sure in uh, in the song so uh, i was really impressed with the audio and visual um all in all experienced by uh, june right there and still uh, still screams kind of some of that classic 80s fashion that i yeah, uh, yeah. I, I would imagine 
imagine even uh, even in other countries and everything. So that'll take us now to our winner of uh, of the battle right here, Prince versus June. Who you got, Dad? Who you got? Well, I'm gonna go like what everyone would probably think I'm gonna go, but I gotta go <laughs> Prince, man. Uh, Pop Life. Nothing against uh, June at all, but uh, yeah, I gotta go Pop Life. Fantastic song by a master craftsman. Yeah, man, I I, I think uh, you're not gonna get much pushback there from most. I, this is actually closer than I expected it to right, be. Right, I agree with uh, that. Because I, I did really enjoy the June track, um, and you know, who knows, if I have a if I hear it a little more, maybe it's going to edge out Prince. But today, as it stands, I'm also going to give the uh, edge to Pop Life by Prince right here. But um, enjoyable battle. And thanks again to T-Soup for uh, bringing that and uh, introducing us to some uh, artists that are a little lesser known. Yeah, and I'll tell you one thing you've taken away from this, boys and girls. We always try to inform. If you have a significant other, someone you care about, you can now tell them Suki Suki <laughs> Die Suki, right. because I like you, I like you, I love you. Now, you better explain them what it means and they start coming after you. But, you know, that one's free of charge. No, exactly, man. And, uh, of course, let us know your winner down below. If you'd like to have us do a battle or you want to support the channel in any way, check out our Patreon page, which is a link below. Also be on the end screen along with another video that you might enjoy. Uh, shout out again to T-Soup for Definitely. bringing these. Uh, I, I like these uh, mega star versus lesser known artist too. battles. So uh, who knows? He might continue it in the months uh, ahead. But uh, with that said, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Happy listening, and we will see you.